Only Cancers, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of January 25th to January 31st. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Send me an email or a DM. We can go ahead and set that up. Also, make sure you click on the link below for the weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Cancers for the period of January 25th to January 31st? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher crown? Become closer to the universe and closer to the divine through your messages for their greater good. Cancers, please. What do you see? What do they need to know for the period of January 25th to January 31st? What are the energies they passed out of prior to? We have the Two of Cups and the Upright. Mm, hubba hubba. In my playlist for my 2021 Sun Moon predictions, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? That is always a work in progress. I get to it when I can. You have the Page of Wands in reverse for the week of January 25th. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, we end on the Knight of Wands for um, moving out of the last week of January. So it appears prior to January 25th, you have made quite a connection with somebody. Doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, although it seems to be kind of pointing that way. Um, someone who you see eye to eye with, like no other, I often say with the Two of Cups, someone who mirrors your soul. Someone who is, you know, and whatever labels you go by, you know, soulmate, twin flame, your person, what have you. Um, very harmonious relationship. Some, somebody that you can see yourself committing to on a very deep level. Now, now, again, keep in mind, this could be friendship, this could be a colleague, this could be a boss that you really click with, okay? It could even be a business partnership of some sort. You have an idea and, you know, it clicks and, hey, you know, let's get to it. Let's make it happen. Now, the only problem is that just as quickly as it, as it kind of, you know, gets fired up, is very passionate, you're like, this is the one, this is perfect. It dies down <laughs> so the page of wands can be you know whatever started off great and all of a sudden all the zip kind of went out of it or um, it doesn't quite could quite work out because of how you approached it or it could have been you know you overlook things um, maybe details or red flags or something like that or you or the other person just isn't into it anymore they just aren't eager they aren't you know excited about it or anything in that regard um, well, I'm not going to go there. Unless it comes out in the clarifiers, I'm not going to. So I'm just going to kind of stick with that. That's what I'm kind of seeing. Great. Started out. Thought this was the perfect person. This is a person for the job or what have you. And then not so much. Um, and it happens in a very short period of time. Now, I don't know who this Knight of Wands person is. I don't know if it's this person trying to circle back and, and trying to come in and be like, hey, you know what, let's let's get the fire back into this. Um, let's kind of make this happen. Um, very action oriented, very impulsive. Um, again, it could be a romantic interest or otherwise, or if this is somebody else that kind of comes rushing in. But I'm thinking this is such a short period of time. I mean, that happens, I get it, but I'm gonna see what the clarifiers kind of say in regards to that. I see two of cups here in the upright for cancers, energies prior to January 25th. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please, for the Two of Cups and the Upright for Cancers. Who is this person? What is this energy? Okay, we have the Page of Swords in reverse. We have the Justice card. Justice card in reverse. We have the Empress card in reverse. Okay, so I mean, immediately what I got was haters. So I feel like people are very much against this connection. I don't, I don't know who it is. Um, it, it could have been previous relationships that the two of you have had or previous connections or previous employers, but I see somebody talking down about this, you know, saying it's not going to work out. Um, it may be spreading rumors about you or the other person, any, anything they can kind of do to cause problems. Justice card in reverse kind of, you know, same thing I'm getting They're They're not giving this a chance. They're speaking unfairly about it. They're very blameful. I don't like these energies. The Empress card in reverse is someone who is up in your business. They, they want to know everything. They're smothering. Um, I don't know. I'm getting exes, ex employers, um, somebody really like a sour grapes attitude from this connection. So, um, 
And I'm wondering if that's what kind of causes things. I mean, it, it seems like it's a wet blanket. Oh, the Justice card in reverse is also the card of Libra, um, for, for those of you, if that resonates. But I'm wondering if this negativity is what actually ends up ends up making this, um, you know, fall apart. And, and I feel like it's not one person other. I feel like both of you kind of have this in the background going on. You know, you're making this connection. So let, let's say, for instance, like, obviously, if you guys, um, you know, romantically connect or whatever, you're going to have people in um, that you were previously with that aren't going to approve of it or what have you. It could be families also. But it could also be um, two people deciding to start a business and um, the previous uh, it, um, companies are competitive and so they're going to spread all these lies and everything about you so that you can't be successful so I don't want anyone to kind of you know get channeled into being um, romantic because I could see it going both ways so why is the page of wands here in reverse who's this person what's this energy and I'm wondering if these negative energies were enough to kind of take the wind out of the sails in regards to this Okay, eight, uh, uh, eight of Pentacles. Okay, there's some kind of negative energy working against this. Um, I know I've said that before, but I'm getting, and this is Ace of Pentacles reverse. So I'm getting that regardless of this, you and this other person or this connection are, are like, well, I don't care. We're gonna still work hard at this. We're gonna kind of make this happen. No matter what it takes, we're gonna, we're gonna push through this. We're gonna be happy. Um, I want to be happy. You want to be happy? Yeah, we're going to be prosperous. We're going to make this happen. So we're not going to let this negativity kind of guide us. Um, so the page of wands here in reverse could just be somebody immature or um, immature energy that's really trying to make this fail. Um, and, and like I said, that could be affecting this. But the, you guys are still trying to push through. You're like, I don't care. And as a matter of fact, I almost feel like you work harder as a result um, to try to make this happen. But the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles reverse tells me that it makes it super hard for this to happen. I mean, it's almost whatever these negative energies are, are really keeping this out of your grasp, not letting this happen. And it's for, you know, because somebody's being selfish, you know, um, they're keeping it away from you guys. They don't want to see you guys be successful. They don't want to see you guys do well. So they're doing everything they can in regards to that. Um, sometimes Ace of Pentacles in reverse can be doing it from a monetary standpoint, you know, saying they're going to give you money and then they don't end up giving you money or just, you know, causing money stresses. So, so that puts a chasm in between the two of you. I just find this Knight of Wands very interesting to me. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Cancers as they move out of, um, the last week of January? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for Cancers for this Knight of Wands. King of Swords in Reverse. King of Swords in Reverse. Man, somebody is just making it really hard for you. For the two of you or for this connection. Because it continues on after after the last week of January. King of Swords in Reverse, the Ten of Wands and the Upright and the Temperance card in Reverse. Um, I'm trying to figure out what this Knight of Wands, what his role is, but I, I'm, I'm kind of getting in the Knight of Wands is pretty much the, like the, well, I'm going to do whatever I want kind of thing. We're going to push through this, you know, because the Knight of Wands can be like, I don't have any fear. You don't scare me. <laughs> you know, I, I feel that's what I'm getting. You're not scaring us. We're going to do this anyways. We we're very passionate about this. We're going to make this work. And, and I keep on getting that. You don't scare me. Um, and, and that bravado that's kind of coming. And I, I see these energies of this person trying to um, manipulate this. You know, they're really smart. They're using their smarts to kind of um, make this go their way. Um, but they're, they're, they're trying to... Um, you know, maybe control it through mind games or um, anything, anything they can do to win, anything to put you guys under pressure, um, probably put you under pressure because they see the Ten of Wands and this huge burden, like they keep on piling more and more sticks on top of you. I feel like whoever this is, they're trying to make this very difficult for you. And they continue to put more and more obstacles in your way so that this can't happen. And with the Temperance card in reverse, it's just kind of like, 
you know, the two of you feel like you're drowning or this connection feels like it's drowning because it's like no matter what we do, something negative always gets thrown in our path. And then that actually starts to take root. You start to, um, you know, it kind of gets in your head, chips away at your soul and it causes an imbalance. And you start questioning, is this going to work out? Um, it, are things ever going to work out? Are we ever going to get to a positive place? Are we always going to have this person kind of looming over us, um, throwing daggers at us all the time? So, um, I mean, I just get somebody who doesn't want you or a connection or something to succeed and, and they're making it, like I said, they just keep on throwing fireballs in your way. So don't know what's going on with that. Feel free to leave comments. If it resonates or you need help with this situation, send me an email or a DM and we can set up a personal reading. Otherwise, click on the link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. In my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions, what is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? That is always a work in progress. Ask me a question on Instago. Check me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I'll see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnet. Bye.